Hello, in this video we are going to look at control registers. We'll be implementing them later on in this series. So there are, you know, the 32-bit instruction pointer register and a 32-bit flags register and both of them combined are the control registers. Many, many, you know, instructions that you can carry out essentially will, you know, need comparisons, some sort of calculations such as mathematical calculations, and you'll really need to change the status of the actual flags. And there are some other, you know, you know, conditional, you no know, instructions that can be carried out to essentially test the value. And this is where control registers come in. So I've got some of the common flag bits that you could be using. So OF, the overflow flag, this basically is the overflow of a higher order bit, you know, the leftmost bit of data, you know, after some sort of sign arithmetic operation. Next, we have the direction flag, and this basically handles whether it's going to be whether we're going to have a left or a right direction for moving. You know when we are comparing uh, and for comparing strings. So when the direction flag is zero, the string operation basically takes left to right, and when it's one, it does the other way around. So the interrupt flag. This basically handles whether the ex, you know whether there's external things interrupting our you know CPU, such as you know keyboard input, for example, and you know it also disables external you know interrupt as well when it's zero, and it enables it when it's one. So we can have that flexibility if we want to be able to allow an external device to interrupt the CPU. So the trap flag. This basically allows us to set the operation of the processor in a single step mode. And this means the, the debug program we use to actually set the trap flag so we could actually step through the execution one instruction at a time. Next, we have a sign flag. And this basically shows the sign of, the, of a result from a particular mathematical operation. And a positive value, a, you know, clears the value of the sign flag to zero and a negative result sets it to one. And the sign is indicated by the high order of the leftmost bit. Next, we have the zero flag. And this basically tells us the result of an arithmetic or a comparison operation that has been carried out. Anything that's not zero, so a non-zero result, you know, clears the flag and that sets it to zero, and a zero result sets it to one. Next, we have the auxiliary carry flag, and this, you know, essentially contains the carry from, you know, bit three to bit four, you know, after an arithmetic operation, and it's used mainly for specialized, you know, specific arithmetic operations. An arithmetic operation, you know, can be any sort, you know, addition, subtraction, for example. Next, we have the parity flag, and this essentially tells us the total number of single bits that are in the result from our arithmetic operation. And if you we have a, an odd number of single bits, it sets the parity flag to one. If we have an even number of single bits, it sets the parity flag to, you, you can guess, zero. So the carry flag, this basically contains the carry of a zero or a one from a higher order bit, you know, the leftmost bit after an arithmetic operation has occurred. And it can also store the contents of the last bit of, you know, a shift or some sort of rotate operation. So that's really it for control registers. If you have any questions about it, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.